welcome to another episode of The Running Diaries. So this was another 16 mile run day for me and it was nice and kind of sunny and a little bit warm and not super rainy or anything. So yay for spring. I had a great run. It's making me feel pretty good about training. So today I wanted to talk about shoes, specifically when to replace them. I've been asked a lot by friends and I've been asked on Twitter, BTW, if you have any questions about running, go ahead and hit me up. I will put a link to my Twitter in the description. But I've been asked a lot about when to replace your shoes, specifically if you're also training. It's a good rule of thumb to not run a race, particularly a very long race, in brand new shoes. You kind of want to take some time to wear them in. But you also don't really want to be running them in shoes that are super worn either. I had the problem sometimes when my shoes start to get really worn, I am more likely to roll my ankle. It's just not good. The rule of thumb that I've always been told is that you want to be replacing your shoes every three to five hundred miles. So that can vary depending on how many miles you put on per run and how many runs you're doing per week. For me, even when I'm not race training, I generally hit that every three months. So I just use a three month rule for myself and these have actually just recently hit three months. I started running in them in December. I have about two months, just under two months before my race, because my race is at the end of April. So I'll be replacing these shoes in the next couple of weeks so that I get a solid month to a month and a half to wear in my new shoes before race day, which is about, I would say, the minimum amount of timing that I would personally want to do that. So you can tell from the tread that I have supernation, which is the opposite of pronation. So I wear out on the outside. If you're pronated, you'll wear out on the inside. And if you're hitting perfectly on here, good for you. That's amazing. What you really, really wanna look for when you're looking at the tread of your bottom of your shoes is to make sure that you're not wearing out the heels on your running shoes because that means that you are he heel striking which can be very bad for your knees. Before you buy new shoes it's always good to keep track of where you're wearing out just so that you know how your form is going and where you need to be fixing things. Don't do that. Okay that is my recommendation for when to replace your shoes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button because there is a new Running Diaries video every single Tuesday between now and my marathon. If you have any specific questions about running and training, go ahead and shoot them to me on my Twitter or you can leave them in a comment below. Bye! <laughs>